I know what you're thinking. How many O-levels does it take to uh, get a job like this where you can stand out in the freezing cold weather in gale force winds videoing cars and telling people about them? Anyway, new into stock, we have a Peugeot 3008 2 litre HDI exclusive. It's a five door, 1997cc, 2011 on 11 plate and uh, has done 62,000 miles. Fuel economy, <laughs> urban, 39.8. Extra urban 60.1, combined is 50.4, a 0 to 60 time of 9.7 seconds, top speed of 121 miles per hour out of 150 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Road tax, pretty reasonable. Six months, £85.25, 12 months is £155, and it, this vehicle is MOT till the 24th of the 1st, 2020. Really nice, handy vehicle, reasonably priced. It's got a full panoramic glass sunroof. Um, five spoke alloy wheels. Got the aluminium mirror backs. Also got windshields on the, the windows, which very handy today. Not sure what the audio is going to come out like. Side protective mouldings. Integrated rear spoiler, rear wash wipe. We've got a tow bar at the bottom there and also reversing sensors. The split tailgate, top bit lifts up and then click this bottom bit and uh, it's uh, an easy and flatter load space. Plenty of room in the back, back seats fold down, 60-40 split as well. Um, pulling these little levers here, just, just flip straight down. So just pulling the levers in the back there, knocks the seats down. Oops. Plenty of room in the back, feels nice, light and airy with the full glass panoramic roof. We've also got here the blinds. The, the seats are sculpted so you've got more knee room. On the floor, you've also got little uh, storage compartments, so they're nice and handy too. Nice fixed fastening points. Got here rear centre armrest with all with two cup holders there, and the ski hatch or load through. Like new in the back <laughs> uh, seats, black cloth with a patterned sort of camouflage pattern in the centre. Really, really nice. I'll just take you for a ride in it. The answer was none. No levels whatsoever. Two keys, proper blades, proper ignition lock. We've got here, let's just find it. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. And uh, I'll just switch it off again and you can just see the heads up display come out of the dashboard. There it goes, up it comes. Um, you can alter that, there you go, you can knock it back like so and adjust uh, the brightness um, with that button there. Nice car, plenty of room. Uh, we've got electric handbrake there. There you go, it just comes off when you uh, touch the accelerator. Take it for a ride in it. Car's got a full pan roof, which is a, a really, really good feature. This particular one has also got the uh, screens on the outside of the front windows. So you can have your window down a little bit there without getting blasted in. Nice and tidy. So we just had it MOT'd and uh, I think it had two new tyres. So ready to go. Just a really, really good and practical vehicle for somebody. Um, 
perhaps a bit further back. Yeah, that's better. A nice plastic ledge to rest your foot at the side, so there's plenty of room. I've got big working boots on at the moment. There's still plenty of room to uh, operate the pedals without catching two at the same time. So bags of room for five people. Nice powerful Peugeot engine. Electric door mirrors. We'll just check those. Oops. Hope if I switch them over right. So yep, yeah, that's uh, that's working correctly. Over to the left one. That's working fine too. We put it in the centre and pull back. Power folding door mirrors. Very windy today. It's uh, according to weather forecast. I'm sure it's said up to 70 mile an hour gusts. And when I was filming before. I had to put my tripod legs out as far as it would go um, so my camera won't blow over. I can uh, hopefully the wind noise wasn't too bad and I'll be able to salvage some audio. If not, I'll no doubt have skipped all the introduction. There's a rattle on something in here. Which I don't know what it is. I think it's probably coming from one of my cameras. Should probably concentrate on the road really, but Nice big wide front central armrest here. I've got a switch here for the. Should be able to see that, but I'll have to knock it off because I've got a camera attached to the roof there. Six-speed gearbox. We've got on the left-hand side cruise control with the thumb wheel. That's speed limiter. Turn it up. Cruise control, and then set it with the top button. Just increase the speed here. Oops, going too fast as usual. And apply to the back of the Argos van. Just get up to seventy. Seventy miles an hour in six, two thousand revs. I think we'll go off here because I'm going to look for that rattle. Um, one of the purposes for the uh, road test, just to check everything's okay, that there are no rattles, bumps, knocks, wheel wobbles, anything like that. Um, stuff that can only be found on a road test, and you'd, you'd never. You'd never find it on a ramp, just a ramp inspection. We've got a 
remote central locking, we've got the rear parking sensors, blinds on the back windows, the ski hatch. Where are they going? Absolute. Just cut, just cut down all the traffic and then cuts in front and got a sign on the back saying baby on board. Cutting across three lanes of traffic. Well done. Parent of the year. Great example to us all. Thank you. Cup holders here. Little storage compartment there. CD radio, you've got hands-free Bluetooth, you've also got Bluetooth audio streaming. I'll just see if I can find this rattle. Goodness me. It inadvertently turned into some sort of war zone. Right, rattle. Sounded like it was coming from here. Right, we'll try again. Actually, that's a bit high. That curb, so we'll go off backwards. see there good turn of speed that's it we seem to have got rid of the uh, rattle it was just the seat belt catching on the uh, on the door there wasn't quite um, 
wheeled in properly. thing about rattles and wheel wobbles <laughs> I'd rather walk than put up with either of them this is uh, this is nice now quite uh, quite acceptable It's showing in my display there, 70 miles an hour, cruise set at 50 miles per hour. I can increase the cruise with this button on the, the top left, that increases the speed. That's on to 70 now, we're in six, doing 2,000 revs, just a touch over 2,000 revs. And I can reduce it by just knocking the bottom. So good spec, on the right hand side we've got the audio controls here, if I turn the radio on yes. and then I'll be able to, that's the radio, if I press the end in I can change. Whoops, that's uh, playing through my iPhone there. Lovely to drive, great value for money. Um, well looked after, nice on the outside, and uh, certainly tidy on the inside. Some of these cars that are kind of semi-people carriers tend to get abused. Um, this one, this one isn't. Nice steering and road holding. In fact, it went round there better than some sports cars do. Cars on 62,549 miles now. You've got on the left hand side there your uh, rev counter, then at the top in the middle coolant, top middle right, fuel gauge and then speedo. The bottom middle centre is uh, information display, not showing at the moment, uh, also cruise what it's set to, what gear you're in, how far you can go before you have to fill up and uh, instantaneous miles to the gallon. I click in the end there, again it's, uh, it's now showing average miles per hour but it's been ticking over for ages while I've been photographing it so that doesn't really count for much. I'll just show you how to pay your mobile to the Bluetooth system when we get back. they're too busy smoking and uh, steering. Not allowed to use a mobile but you can uh, light a fag with a six inch flame about <laughs> two inches from your nose. That's okay.
20 miles an hour limit. Let's, let's see, we're doing 18. Let's just see if it'll... Yeah, there you go. So we're in six. We're doing 20 mile an hour in six. I haven't got my foot on the clutch or the accelerator and the car is just pulling. So that's uh, diesel engines with lots of low end torque. I think if you tried that in a, a petrol car, you'd um, end up with kangaroo petrol and stalling. I'm doing 20, there's a Mercedes coming up behind me, doing, a, doing about 50. So there you go, that's just ticking over. It just, it's pulling this car, which is quite a size, at tick over. That's uh, pretty exceptional, I think. Back at the garage. Let's try and find a shaded place. There we go. 